To be famous or to avoid the press. Lesson number 11. First slide. Dreams of fame. The typical reason behind pursuing an education or career in entertainment is to achieve a high level of fame and fortune. The philosophy suggests that the more attention and money, or sorry, more attention and money leads to positive emotions. Popular culture suggests that fame produces negative emotions that stars wish to escape through the use of intoxication. Problematic conditions caused by intoxication include arrests, relationship failure, hospitalization, and even death. Financial hardship can occur even after building substantial fortunes. This woman is supposed to be a picture, followed by the caption, Stardom is fantasy, that often doesn't translate into reality. So, a fantasy is an idea that is really not real and can never be real. So, that's why it doesn't translate into reality. It doesn't turn into reality. As you can see here, I say the typical reason behind pursuing an education or career in entertainment is to achieve a high level of fame and fortune. So, they're trying to get, they're trying to be famous, they're trying to be well known, and they're trying to have a fortune, which, as you can see here, we will do on the next slide. Sorry, we'll do fortune here. We'll do this one, popular culture. That's an easy one, also known as pop culture. So popular culture, or pop culture, is really activities, trends, and actions that are common in a culture. We're talking about music, we're talking about movies, hair, fashion, cars, even uh, economic trends like where people are working, what they're doing in their free time. So here's an example. Using Twitter and Facebook are part of 2011 pop culture, and I see unfortunately. Now you'll notice on my website and my YouTube channel, I do not have Twitter, I do not have Facebook, I only use email and YouTube because this I think is totally a waste of time. Here's another example. Pop culture is often associated with ignorance and the passive acceptance of poor quality entertainment. And that's certainly what I see in 2011 with music and videos and movies and stuff that, that the uh, mainstream media are producing now. I only listen to old music and uh, I only watch older movies and stuff on YouTube that's made by my subscribers and uh, you know I think it's better better anyway. Here's a woman going shopping. Popular culture relies on creating trends and supporting shopping activity. So really all this culture, music, movies, is really to get people to shop and to act in a certain way. And so they create this religion, this culture, that is supposed to be popular. And it's actually quite successful for the companies that are getting you to buy all of this stuff. Second example is intoxication. Intoxication is the state of being out of touch with reality. It's also called spacing out. Like if you're just staring, like staring, uh, you're just kind of uh, spacing out. That's staring into space is, is where that comes from, I think. Escaping reality with fantasy. And remember, fantasy is not real. So if you're escaping reality with fantasy, and that could be movies, it could be uh, relationships, it could be uh, computer games, anything that's not real. And this, intoxication, is bad. Here's another example. Romantic movies are intoxicating to women because they are based on fantasy. All those romantic movies are just fantasies that are totally fake, and it's intoxicating for them. The intoxicating intoxication, sorry, the intoxication provided by fast food is the reason people eat unhealthy. You could also say unhealthily. Unhealthily. Something like that. Unhealthy. All right, the intoxication provided by fast food is the reason people are not eat unhealthy. I don't eat unhealthy. I just eat clean, good food 
because this intoxication is bad. You gotta, you gotta get away from that. Intoxicated employees do not function well because they are lazy and angry. The reason they're lazy and angry is because of the withdrawal. So intoxication causes withdrawal, also known as negative emotions. So when you see women that are miserable, or even men that are miserable, it's because they're in withdrawal. They want to escape reality, and that makes them unhappy. Now, the next slide. Fortune, a little more positive. Fortune is great wealth, such as money or other assets, like a house or a boat or a company, car, or fortune is having the position of wealth, like having a fortune or winning a fortune. Or fortune can be found by working hard. So the position of wealth, having wealth, can be found by working hard. Massive fortunes, that's this, massive fortunes were made during the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution started in the 1700s and uh, continued to the 1900s and now we're in somewhat of more of a uh, information age or you could you could say the industrial revolution is continuing Jim won a fortune the lottery ticket he purchased won four million dollars so Jim won a lot of money four million dollars the fortunes derived from investing in your own company are usually greater than investing in stocks and bonds. And that's something that I've noticed is that, like you look at this picture, you have two people, right? If you invest in a stock or bond, you're giving this person your money and he does whatever he wants. And he gives you back only a little. But if you invest in yourself, like let's say you buy, you buy a factory and you buy some land and you buy some machines and you buy some uh, equipment, your money doesn't go anywhere. It stays with you because you still have all the land and the equipment and you can always sell it. So if you, if you invest in yourself and your own company, the worst case scenario is that you have land and buildings and stuff that you can sell again. So I've... I am finished with stocks and bonds. I'm not doing that ever again. It's a scam and a waste of money. Avoiding the spotlight. Many celebrities desire to be famous, but after achieving fame, they realize that constant attention is burdensome. The paparazzi follows top celebrities every move. Even from long distances, photographers can take pictures and spy on celebrities on vacation. Such attention causes rumors to circulate regarding their lives. Many celebrities prefer to hide from the press. Avoiding award shows, parties, and gatherings will deter the press because only currently popular celebrities are being stalked by creepy photographers. So our two words are burdensome and stalked. We will get to those words in a second. Now here's the caption. The spotlight has its intoxicating effects at the cost of constant harassment. So he's angry. Maybe, maybe he's a child star and he's being harassed by the paparazzi. Paparazzi is those photographers that are extremely aggressive and troublesome to any celebrity who's trying to relax or do anything in their daily lives. So, if you want to do this burdensome, we will go to the next slide. Burdensome means difficult or heavy, or it means distressing and troublesome. So here we, here we have the burdensome work that John had to do made him tired. So that could be difficult or heavy, or distressing and troublesome, depending on the type of work he was doing. All the cooking that Kim had to do on the weekend was a burden. So that probably would be difficult, because cooking is not really heavy or distressing, although it could be troublesome if she doesn't want to cook. 
burdensome snow covered the house and destroyed the roof. That would be heavy. Heavy snow or burdensome snow covered the house and destroyed the roof. Now here's a picture of an automotive repair facility, also known as a shop or a garage. Repairing vehicles is burdensome to busy people, so they get mechanics to do the work for them. To stalk has two meanings, most common meanings, I should say. The first common meaning is to pursue or approach prey. What the? I think I spelled wrong. P R E Y. You see, the spell check doesn't check to see if it's the right word. To pursue or approach prey. Okay, or to follow a person illegally and in a creepy way. So, this one is this one. The lion stalked the deer until the lion slipped and fell down the hill. Poor lion. So if the lion was the lion was following the deer, that means the lion is stalking the deer. To follow a person illegally and in a creepy way is like this. The weird man stalked the woman, but she sprayed him with mace and kicked him in the crotch. Congratulations. Now, the stalker got an internet connection and started Facebook stalking people. And there you go. Popular culture is that we are stalking each other on Facebook, which is creepy and weird. Stalking is creepy and weird. Don't do it. You don't want to be like this guy. Stalking your friend. Stalking your ex-boyfriend, girlfriend. Stalking your ex-boyfriend, girlfriend's new boyfriend, girlfriend. That's weird. I don't do it. YouTube fame. Fame can be found on YouTube without paparazzi or other media problems. Public attention can be minimized because YouTube is global and not all viewers are in the same place at the same time. If, for instance, Brad Pitt is currently in Paris, the media will find out and broadcast his location to the world. Within minutes, he will be inundated with photographers and television cameras. All of this attention is stressful and avoidable. YouTube celebrities are usually followed by people who spend a lot of time on the internet. They have no need to stalk celebrities because famous YouTubers always make videos. Reliable and timely video production allows YouTube celebrities to avoid the spotlight while walking the streets, yet continuing to live a life of fame. And that's true. I mean, if you are Brad Pitt and you are always doing all these, you know, these parties and these, these events, they're always in the spotlight, you're going to have paparazzi continuously photographing you and taking video of your every move. Whereas the internet creates celebrities through daily viral videos. You make a video, he watches it, she watches it, they watch it. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty soon you got millions of hits and you can walk the streets without any of this paparazzi problem. Excellent. Let's do our keywords which are inundated and reliable. Inundated is to be covered with water or to have too much work or attention. Again, I mean, look, you could say flooded. Flooded. So here's the farmlands were inundated from the recent rainfall. If the farmlands are flooded because of too much rain. To have too much work or attention is this example here. The TV station is inundated with calls after airing a fake story about aliens. So if the TV station said, oh yeah, there's aliens and they have a ship and they're hovering above Texas State tonight and that was a fake story they'll receive a lot of calls so they will be inundated with calls similarly aliens were inundated with calls when the TV station was destroyed by their ship Ah, it's too bad people are often inundated with work in recent times due to a lack of money She's experiencing stress because she doesn't have enough money to pay her mortgage or her automotive expenses. Let's do the next keyword, reliable. If you need something, this person can usually help you and isn't late. Well, like Bill is reliable because he always gets the job done. You can count on Bill. 
you can count on Bill. So if Bill is usually available and he usually does the work, you can count on him. He'll be there. Information that is usually true, such as the emails are reliable evidence used to convict the banker of stealing money. That would be information that is usually true. The hammer is reliable. I've used it for 34 years and have had no problems with it. That would be a tool that doesn't break. Or anything is reliable, like this pencil. If this pencil doesn't break or is always there, it's a reliable pencil. Reliable information is necessary to write a good research paper. You can also say reliable information is necessary in order to write a good research paper. Either way is good. So she will need to do good research on the internet in order to make her research paper. Good. Now let's do arguments. The first argument. Actors should marry actresses. Actors should marry actresses. Well, let's go through the argument to find out why. Movie stars Movie stars definitely should marry other movie stars. From the standpoint of fame, two famous people together attracts even more attention. More media attention allows for the opportunity to make more movies. Movies are necessary for movie stars because it is their only means of supporting themselves financially. Actors are usually very good looking and their offspring will also be attractive. Offspring is their children. The failure of the majority of actor-actress marriages is a statistical irrelevancy. It means it's not important. Without those weddings and attention, those stars would not have had the opportunity to make as many movies. If a man loses $10 million in a divorce, it is not burdensome. He never would have gotten the money. No. He never would have gotten the movie roles to make the money without a movie star wife. In addition, movie star relationships don't even have to be real. They can simply be a stunt to get more attention and movie roles. Those are very bizarre arguments that I created. Now here's the opposite. Argument. Actors should not marry actresses. Actor-actress relationships are usually a disaster and end up in being a burden upon the children. Pop culture is obsessed with trivial star relationships despite the high failure rate. These relationships are an intoxicating fantasy for common people. This fantasy has no benefit to the mental state of the stars. Actors have a tendency to have mental problems when too much pressure is put upon them. This pressure causes their marriages to fail and end up in total financial disaster. It is not necessary for stars to have marriages in order to have success. Take Lady Gaga, for instance, comma, who achieved huge popularity with her music and interesting outfits. She only reportedly married in 2010 after becoming successful. Movie stars should remain single to keep their financial fortunes and have peace of mind. Well, that's interesting. Questions. Number one, how do dreams of fame often go bad? Number two, is popular culture intelligent and why or why not? Number three, why do some celebrities avoid the spotlight? Number four, what problems are associated with actor-actress marriages? Number five, if you married a movie star, what would you do? Number six, if the paparazzi followed you around, what would you do? And let's go to question number one. How do dreams of fame often go bad? Here's my answer. This is not everything. This is just my short answer here. There are many problems associated with the burning dreams of fame, including arrests, divorce, losing money in divorce, drunken rants posted on YouTube, paparazzi problems, too much attention while on vacation, and even stalkers from time to time. Number two. Is popular culture intelligent and why or why not? Popular culture is not designed to be intelligent. Pop culture is 
is really only movies, games, TV, fashion, and music and trends. Very little intelligence is included into these entertainment types. In addition, companies use pop culture to encourage shopping, so entertainment tends to glorify shopping instead of intelligent activities such as scientific advancement. Why do some celebrities avoid the spotlight? Some celebrities avoid the spotlight to not be harassed by the paparazzi. The media has a tendency to tell the world where popular celebrities are, especially when they are on vacation. These annoyances want to be minimized. As well, rumors get spread by tabloid magazines, which can harm celebrities' images and can lead to stalking from creepy photographers. This is actually kind of bad grammar here. These annoyances should be minimized. That makes more sense. All right, number four, what problems are associated with actor-actress marriages? Actor-actress marriages are plagued with issues such as mental problems from too much pressure. Divorce is common and leads to financial hardship. Children as well get caught up in divorce rivalry. Stress causes stars to become unhappy. Number five, if you married a movie star, what would you do? If I married a movie star, the first thing I would do is make movies. Lots of movies. Second, I would run away from my movie star wife because she's probably very annoying and talks too much. Then, I would live in my own house on a large elephant farm where I would make far better movies than her. Number six, if the paparazzi followed you around, what would you do? I would sit on a lawn, char lawn chair in the middle of New York doing nothing every day until they finally realize that there's nothing exciting going on in my life and therefore they have no reason to continually take photographs of me sitting in the lawn chair in the middle of New York sipping on ice water. The end.